My fever is literally breaking right now. I can feel it. Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX News show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. With that being said, I'm sick, you can probably hear it, so let's make this one quick. So I almost got all the way to the end of recording this news video when I got to the product section and realized that there was something that I needed to 100% talk about first in this video. So I recorded it and moved it all the way to the beginning. So if anything seems weird after the fact, it's because I recorded something and moved it all the way to the beginning after already recording what I thought was going to be the beginning of the video. That being said, let's talk about the Purge stem from United. If you look closely at the picture on the screen right now of this stem, you might notice something a little bit different about the top plate of this stem, and you'll notice that it's completely shut on the front, but not the back. And that is how this stem is designed in a way that eliminates the problem of an uneven plate on your stem and over tightening one side over the other or just any of the problems that can be caused by having to worry about your stem plate being evenly spaced on both sides. It clamps all the way down on the front so what you do is you tighten the front bolts so that it's all the way clamped down and tight and then you tighten the back bolts until they're tight and that's pretty much it. You don't have to worry about spacing or anything like that. I think that's a fantastic and simple idea, and I can't believe that no one has done it before, and this legitimately could and should change the way that stems are designed in BMX moving forward from this point out. If you can eliminate having to worry about the issues and hurting people from an uneven stem plate and just completely take that problem out of the user's hands, why wouldn't you do it? And I think that everyone should take a look at this and potentially learn from it because it could be huge if it works out the way that it's supposed to. And companies usually go through certain periods of testing with their products before they come out to the public. So I would imagine that this has been thoroughly tested to make sure that it does what it's supposed to do in a safe manner. So hopefully that continues with it being out to the public and hopefully we see it integrated into more stems in the future if it does what it's supposed to. The first thing that I wanna talk about this week is that Swamp Fest is going to be absolutely insane. I'm sure all of you have seen this picture before. You know that anyone who tries this is insane. I'm sure you've seen the uh, alligator thing going over the quarter pipes by now. There's so many crazy ramps there. It's just going to be insane. So I've linked a video in the description below to a Scotty Kramer video where they're riding some of the ramps before they got that crazy horizontal loop and over the quarter pipes alligator mouth thing built. But I'm sure that any of you who go are going to have an amazing time. And then after that, I wanna quickly bring up the new Lavender G Sport rib cage rims, because let's be honest, by the time that you're seeing this, they're probably sold out already. These things go super fast. Either way though, they are available. I think maybe they're already sold out. You guys can find out at the link in the description below, as well as there's links to everything else that I'm going to talk about today in the order that I talk about it within the description below. So. If there's anything you want to check out, you know where to find it now. And then I've got a trailer that just came out this morning for the Go Fast Pull Up the Jimmy LeVan story that is coming out and being premiered at Swamp Fest. There's also a pre-order that is available now. I just got done watching this trailer and I can say that I absolutely cannot wait to watch this full length video. It's going to be amazing. There are so many interviews from so many high profile, iconic people within BMX talking about Jimmy LeVan and I don't know very much about him so I'm excited to learn and I think that anyone who watches this trailer will be excited to see it as well. Then after that we've got boom 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 some more product stuff that I wanted to put into the beginning of the video because I'm psyched on this shirt and I'm sure that you've seen this picture on Facebook. You might not be aware that it is a shirt that is available. It's the there's no BMX or no bench in BMX shirt. 
This was designed by Damien Fulton, the originator of Radical Rick here. You can find it in the description below where it is available in kids and adult sizes in both the t-shirt version that I just showed you as well as a long sleeve version, both in that gray color that you saw. And it's available in youth small all the way up to adult 3XL. So check that out if you're interested. And that's it for the things I wanted to talk about first. That brings us into the sponsorship news for this week. First thing here is a video welcoming Jonathan Medina or Medina. We have a town around here that we call Medina. So that's how I say it. But it's welcoming him to Sunday's flow team. It's a quick one minute, 10 second long video of nothing but street riding. It's got burly stuff mixed together with some technical stuff. And you can clearly see where Sunday is going with their team. With the people that they've been adding recently they're going for a technical burly street setup type style and theme for their team and hopefully it works for them after that we've got the news that boyd hilder is off demolition this actually came out last week but i didn't get a chance to talk about it and that's it for sponsorship news we've got a couple different jam highlights videos to talk about the first one is from the 2019 night harvest jam followed by a focal point bmx highlights video from the banks jam 2019 uploaded to Diggs youtube channel and then a video of the bmx winter games in I'm not even going to try to say it, 2019 video. That's it for contests and jams, and that brings us right on into the videos from this week, and I am very excited to talk about this first one. It is a video called One Night Stand featuring Bobby Altizer, and it comes from Standard. It was filmed at the Margarita Ramps at Standard's factory or warehouse or building whatever you want to call it, where they build their stuff at. It was filmed there, and it just features a ton of amazing lip trick riding from Bobby Altizer. He's one of my good friends and I I just can't say enough good things about this dude. Amazing bike rider. There's so many tricks in here that just don't make sense, including the last one, which if you don't care about this video at all, you have to at least watch the last clip because it will literally blow your mind. So you ever watch a video where you feel like you can't comprehend how completely insane everything is because every single clip is completely insane and there's no filler? Well, that is Dylan Lloyd's Year of the Buck video from We The People that came out this week. Every single clip is so utterly insane that it like, overtakes your brain you can't comprehend how crazy it all is Dylan Lloyd is at the top of his game right now and it's just insane and it's definitely a nice uh, transition or juxtaposition between the last video which was all lip tricks from Bobby this one is all street tricks from Dylan Lloyd and I feel like they're kind of on the same level but in two completely different categories and it's awesome. I definitely think that you guys will enjoy this video. Honestly I feel like I didn't go into as much detail as I probably should have about this video which is just another reason for you to watch it because it was crazy enough to make me not be able to go into that much detail. Just know that the last clip is a three whip down a big stair set and that's insane. And then after that I want to give a bit of a history lesson for any of you that might have been not born yet in 1994, I've got a video that was uploaded to the Snakebite BMX YouTube channel featuring Brad Blanchard and his 1994 Dirt Bros Cheese video section. This one right now, if you're watching any video this week, not even if you're going to, you're gonna watch this video. It's only four minutes long, and I promise you that it's going to be worth the watch for you. It's got 720s, gigantic, huge canyon type gaps, maybe not canyon, but ravine gaps. It's like 20 or 30 feet. It's got a truck driver in it. It's got huge fly out crazy tricks like they used to do on the dirt fly outs. It's got some street stuff, some wall rides, huge wall ride to fakie bar spins 360 over actual dirt jumps not just the step ups just so much crazy stuff and it was 1994 before some of you were even born you have to watch this video it's amazing and i don't think i had even seen it before watching it just now and i'm probably going to watch it again because of how good it was people have been great in bmx for literally ever and I think kids don't realize it and think that they're inventing things that have been invented 20 years ago just because they haven't seen it because no one's told them to watch it. So this is me telling you 
to watch this video. And that's the last video I wanted to talk in depth about this week, but as always, there's a few more that are worth checking out. So let's list those right now. The first one comes from Liam Zingbergs and BSD, and it's called Kicked Out of Cali. Then we've got Profiles Neighborhood Crawl from BMX. Then a video featuring Dakota Brat, someone who Montana Ricky talked about in a Rider Spotlight video. It's called Not Your Average Woodward Video, and it definitely isn't. And after that, we've got a longer one for those of you who like longer videos. It's called BMX Foo Legends, Sean Swain. Sean Swain is absolutely a legend from what I've seen. He does so much crazy stuff in the BMX Foo DVDs. So if you wanna check this one out, like I said before, you know where to find it. So that's gonna be it for the videos this week. You already heard how I felt like I needed to move the purge stem to the beginning of the video. So that means I already talked about all of the product related stuff. And that brings us into the interview section of the video. The first thing I wanna talk about here is part one of John Lee's The BMX In Our Blood podcast. John Lee is known as one of the nicest people in BMX, so although I haven't had a chance to listen to this one yet, I'm sure that you guys are going to enjoy it as all of the BMX in Our Blood podcasts are fantastic. And that brings us to an unclicked podcast that I was listening to while preparing for this video featuring Mike Hucker Clark. Through the first hour, it's been fantastic. Mike is definitely a extreme crazy and interesting guy that you will no doubt be interested in hearing about through this podcast. And then the last thing I want to talk about this week also features Mike Hucker Clark, and it's from the series Days in the Life of Mike Hucker Clark from Demolition. This is episode two, and it actually covers the day where they did the podcast, starting with breakfast, then moving down to heading to San Diego, where Dennis and Mike have a session at Claremont Skate Park, and then the podcast. So it could be a nice appetizer before you actually get into the podcast if you want to watch it first. And with that being said, I think that's the last thing to talk about this week as I refresh BMX Union, where I get all of my information for these podcasts, or most of it. And yep, I beat BMX Union to talking about the Go Fast Pull Up trailer because I talked about it before he had it posted. Gotcha, Kurt. <laughs> Either way, though, that's going to be it for this week's BMX News video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let's talk in the comments about your favorite thing. Do you think that the purge stem is going to change BMX stems forever? Or is it fixing a problem that a lot of people didn't really have? I personally don't think that's the case, but some of you might. So let me know in the comments down below. If this is your first BMX news video and you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button down below. I come out with this news video every Friday, as well as tips and tricks videos on Tuesdays and other types of riding videos and streams throughout the week. I want to thank you guys for choosing to spend your time with me and watching my video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Thanks again and goodbye.